Hello guys, today we are going to see how to export output in Sumo. After you run your simulation in Sumo, you will definitely need to analyze the output. So this video is mainly about how to export output simulation in Sumo. As you may know, in Sumo we have input that's usually the network plus the route file. And as output, we have many output that can consist of the position of the vehicle, the speed, the vehicle angle. We can also have the lane ID, the ages, the lane change to know if the vehicle changed the lane during the simulation and if so, for what reason? We can also have the emission output, like the CO2, the CO, the NOx, and so on. We can also have, as output, the time to collision, the brake rate, the bumper to bumper distance, the deceleration to avoid a crash, etc. We are going to show you how to output a simulation result in Sumo. But before that, I will briefly show you in less than one minute how to export a network from OpenStreetMap and convert that network into Sumo network and then generate a random route into that network. That will be very brief, but feel free to skip and go directly to the main point of this video.
Okay. Um, one of the most basic car data that you can output from Sumo is called FCD, Floating Car Data. And what's that? The floating car data is an output file that contains the location, the speed, the vehicle angle, the position, the lane, along with other information for every vehicle in the network and at every time step. The floating car data is just like a GPS device for each vehicle. The outputs of the FCD can also be processed further using the Trace Exporter tool. We'll see that later. So basically, this is the command used in order to output a Sumo Trace data. Let's just copy this and paste it into our command line. And here we can see the sumo trace file. We can open and see what this file look like. As we can see here, we have the vehicle, the time step, the vehicle ID, the X and Y position of the vehicle, the vehicle angle, the type of the vehicle, the speed, the position, the lane, the slope. The next type of output we can have is the row vehicle position dump. It contains every edges and lanes each vehicle position and speeds for each simulation step. We can use the net step command in order to output this dump file. Or we can also define that into the configuration file as follows. Let's try both way. Let's copy this and paste into the command line. The name of the file here is my dump file. Let's open it and see what it looks like. The network state contains the time step The H ID, the lane ID, the vehicle ID, the position, and the speed. Let's copy this. Open the configuration file. And then add here as output. Save it. Let's call this test dump 2. If we run this simulation now, it's going to generate. It's going to generate the dump file 2. The other very interesting output that we can have in Sumo is the emission. We can output the amount of CO2, CO, HC, NOx. We can also check the amount of fuel, electricity, noise emitted by the vehicle in the actual simulation step. The command to have the emission output is this command. We have sumo-c.
followed by the name of the configuration file, then emission output, and then the name of the output file. Let's copy this and paste into our command line. And here we have my emission file. Let's see what's inside. Inside we have the amount of CO2, CO, HC, NOx, PMX, fuel, electricity, noise, route, the waiting time, the lane, the position, the speed, the angle, and so on. We can also have a full output. The full output dump every information contained in the network, including emission, position, speed, and lane. But warning, it takes a lot of time to accomplish this task, and also the file size is very big. It can be even gigabyte for very simple network like this one. This is the command to generate the full output. Let us copy this and paste here. We can see that the full output contains the gas emission, the noise, the fuel emission, the electricity, the maximum speed, the mean speed, the occupancy, and the vehicle count. Even Notepad++ cannot open this file. The file is too big to be opened by Notepad++. You see, the size of this file is about 4 GB and the file cannot even be opened by Notepad++. The other file type that can be generated is the lane change. Let's generate this. Let's open and see what it looks like. Here we have the, ch the change, the lane change ID, the vehicle type, the time, the from lane and to lane, the speed, the position, the reason why the lane change happened, and so on. So with this file, we can know how many vehicles actually made a lane change and the time, the position, and the speed at which they did that lane change and also the reason. We can also output many VTK files that can be used by VTK programs. I will not go into detail for the VTK, but you can do your own research about it.